Hello, I'm Dr. Janine Krauss. Today I'm going to talk about another food that causes leaky gut. So, there's always this big debate on what type of oil should we use for cooking. Is it olive oil? Is it canola? What the heck do we do? Well, it turns out that it's really a really, really, really important thing to do to look at the type of oil that you're using. Oil should not be refined. If they're refined, they're heated up too high. Those are molecules that are irritants to our digestive system lining. Much like hydrogenated oils, you've probably heard of these guys, they're also known as trans fats. These are the oils that cause placking of your arteries and can clog them up, then you're going to have some serious problems. Today, I want to talk a little bit more about refined oils and how they affect your digestive system. So for example, we get something like a olive oil. Olive oil in and of itself shouldn't be bad. However, companies out there are trying to keep cost down on making olive oil. And what they do is they blend the olive oil along with canola oil. Canola oil for the most part, unless it says on the label unrefined, is heated up to a molecule that our bodies don't really know what to do with. So for example, if we're inside the digestive system here and we get this molecule of oil that's refined, it gets to the digestive system lining. It sits there. Well, when anything sits on that digestive system lining, it's going to cause a immune system reaction. Our little Pac-Mans, our white blood cells are going to come over and check it out. They're going to say, what is this refined molecule? So here they come in and here they take a look at what's this molecule. Because they don't recognize it, they don't see it as being a normal food molecule, they end up going after it. So we create inflammation on the digestive system lining. So perhaps maybe you've eat some, eaten some roasted nuts, for example. Delicious, don't get me wrong. Oftentimes, Vegetable oils are commonly used. When you see the label vegetable oil, that can be a blend. That can be soybean, that can be corn, that can be canola. All of those in a blend are going to be refined. Ever had a stomach ache when you've eaten too many of those roasted nuts? Well, that's what's going on there. You have all of those molecules of that nut being broken down, but then you've got those oils and the body goes, I don't know what to do with this. So they sit there on the lining. Like I said, if anything sits there too long, we get inflammation. Inflammation causes holes in your digestive system lining. Those holes allow for molecules to come across into the bloodstream. Once those molecules get in the bloodstream, now our immune system is going to attack again, and we're going to get another reaction. Could be aches, could be pains, could be acne. And in particular, Consumption of nuts is often linked with acne, but it's not the nuts per se that is causing the problem. It's the oils. So something to consider in that case. So I want you to go into your kitchen, take a look at all the oils that you have in that kitchen. You want to make sure that they say expeller pressed or cold pressed oils or unrefined. Anything that says refined, ditch it. Also read your labels on your junk foods and processed foods. If you say anything, if you see anything that says trans fat or hydrogenated oils or partially hydrogenated oils, get it out of there. You should be eating things that say expeller pressed oils only or unrefined. That goes for the coconut oil as well, virgin unrefined coconut oil. Okay, that's another way that you can get leaky gut. I'm Dr. Jeanine Krauss. Check out my website, drjkraussnd.com. We'll see you there.